Hey everyone, I'm Kex here and welcome back to World of Warcraft. In today's episode, we are currently in Stormwind City. It's been a little bit of time since you saw me. It's been a little bit of time. Uh, but we are on our way to meet our guild. Uh, they're over at our base of operations. I'll introduce you to everyone. And then we're heading over to the Scarlet Monastery. Because there's a couple of dungeons there that we are going to do together. Alright, well here we are. The little house that we are renting alongside our guildmates. Greetings. <laughs> Here are some of our guildmates. We have Derns, who is one of our healers. He's a Drenai Shaman. We have Tyrolstrom the Patient. He is also a Drenai Shaman. He's actually one of the first sergeants of the Order. And he is going to possibly be leading group two here. It depends how many people come. Ah, Skamaz. Excellent. Skamaz is our resident gnome, our resident mage within the guild. who has got an absolutely fantastic set of hair as well. <laughs> and then of course we have Prot Heels here as well, who is actually the newest member of the guild. And he is a paladin. He's actually uh, armed with the holy light, with shield and with sword. And he will kind of uh, be our, t our front line. He'll be our tank leading us forwards. <laughs> We have arrived at Refuge Point. <clears throat> All right, so we're riding through the Arathi Highlands. As you can see, this is Stormguard Keep. We have never been inside there, though we have ridden past. So we're not entirely sure what's there. Certainly, it's not where our mission today is leading us, however. The rest of our party is slightly behind. Here we go. Let's catch up with them. The last time we were here, we ran into a spot of difficulty as we attempted to breach through the main gate in the wall bordering the Hillsbrad foothills and we discovered that this uh, main gate is completely under the control of the undead forsaken forces uh, of Lady Sylvanas Windrunner. So this time around I think we can try sneak through here. This is what I spotted the other day. We're gonna try slip through up here and see if there is a, a breach in the wall that we can use instead of having to storm the undead protected gatehouse over here.
trees. I, I love it. I really like this. We, I definitely consider setting up... If this wasn't Horde territory, I definitely consider setting up a base nearby. That being said, this is so close to where the plague ravaged the human lands. Indeed, here we go. We're passing into the plague lands. Which is a dangerous, dangerous place. Alright. Mr. Feather Whistle. Provide us with a griffin to here. Next time we're coming through, we can simply fly back. We won't have to make this run again. We've got the flight path now. Okay. So I believe we want to go through Anderhall and then try to break through into Tearsful Glades. Time for a quick rest. Before we move on. Short break. That would be welcome. Well, Skamaz has found himself a very comfortable seat <laughs> right by the log. And look, Frank, his little pet, has seated himself up on the log. Oh, he's loving life right there. Look at him. That, oh, that is a very, very happy little turtle. The hard part is yet to come. We come dangerously close to Anderhall where it all started. I wish Cromlech was here. Could use some old ale. Yeah, indeed. So uh, some of you will not have actually met Cromlech yet, but he is... A rather drunken dwarf, who is frequently uh, the, the tank, the protector for our people. Ah, excellent. It looks like Tyrolstrom has provided the ale today. Tyrolstrom has provided today's ale. Earning his keep as sergeant. How nice of him. Good job, sergeant. It's my job to supply the order. Oh dear, Skamaz is not only drunk, but completely smashed. Oh... Our gnomish friend, the magic, has gone to his head, but not nearly so much as the ale has gone to his head. <laughs> oh dear, we'll definitely have to ration things out more carefully in the future. Almost arrived at the monastery itself. Simply up this road. Monastery. It's under the control. The Scarlet Crusade. Aha! Here we have the summoning stone, and this is how we will call Prot Heels, who the power of the summoning stone, to us. And with him here, we should be able to breach the monastery and to fulfill our quest. To destroy these religious fanatics at their root. To cut them off at the root. And fight through. For now and I suggest we fight our way through. I agree. Let's go. Let's breach our way through here. Ah, uh, Prot Heels brought some ale. <laughs> We've already had too much Prot Heels. We've already had too... <laughs> We've already had too much. <laughs> Perhaps to celebrate. Afterwards. <laughs> yes. Oh dear. <clears throat> All right, and here we are. We have arrived in the Scarlet Halls. Let's follow. <laughs> Our task is to cleanse the whole monastery. Halls. Sorry. All of it. Got a head of crusader here. Hello. Well met, warrior. I mean you no harm. The order is starting to, to churn through these men here, cutting down the fanatics. I'm here posing as one of the Scarlet Crusades because they have become irredeemably corrupt and evil. I need your help to put an end to them once and for all. Rank and file. First things first, let's kill us some Crusaders. When I say kill the Scarlet Crusade, I mean wipe them out, root and branch, rank and file. Exactly what I thought we should do. Good to see that the king is uh, on the same mind as me. 
Just for safekeeping, of course. There's a great, uh, there's a book of great value to me here in the halls. Unfortunately, it's in the possession of Flame Weaver uh, Kugler. I've tried to get close to him before, but it's never quite worked out. You might have better luck. Just watch out. I hear that he's gone well and truly insane. The Flame Weavers plans to burn every tome they have in the library. He'll, pr he'll probably burn the Scarlet Halls down the process. Okay, so we need to move quickly here to stop this Flame Weaver from burning all of the, the records down. Let's jump forward a little bit. Do we have an angry hound? Okay. It's moving forward into the cloisters here. We have some reinforced archery targets that we could grab. Okay, Tylestrom has one. Take cover. Archers, attack. Another down. Do not relent. Oh my. Okay. Follow and Let use the shield as cover. Escape. They're also firing, firing fire arrows, Let which we need to escape. walk around. Another down. Do not relent. Oh my. Okay. Oh, oh. They hit hard. Oh my. Oh god. Oh, the commander is strong. Let's jump out and charge back in. Woo! That was an intense fight. We almost went down there. That was very, very intense. Oh, Durns did go down, but he's been brought back to life, thankfully. A difficult fight, though. A definitely a difficult fight. Careful. There's a watchman behind us. Okay, let's grab one of these buckets. So we can throw the bucket. We should be able to use. Take these guys down. Not the face. Oh, the hounds are set upon him. Oh, wow. We throw the bucket of slops, the bucket of their food at them. We can take them down. Houndmaster Brawn. Okay. Did you hear something, lads? Oh my, we need to get in here to fight him. Let's go. I'm gonna be very careful. Fresh meat for the dogs. Oh, he's calling dogs in to attack. Release the hounds. This is not too good. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> the hounds attack the hound master. He seems to be using some sort of dark magic to keep himself alive. Dark magic is no match for a horde of angry dogs. A fitting end. Fitting end for a madman indeed. Alright, let's continue on. Through the armory here. They've got cannons. Okay, the cannons have been silenced. Good. Oh, we've got a pattern here. That's excellent. I think we do have some leather workers in the order. We could probably make use of that uh, to craft us some uh, gear. Some leather and some cloth armor. Very nice. We got some more cannoneers here. Oh, I don't think we can wait anymore. <laughs> I don't think there's any more waiting to be done here. I think we've gone in. All right, there we go. Excellent. All right, the armory has been cleared out. <laughs> our mage apologizing. He's definitely, he's definitely a bit of a crazy one, our mage. Definitely a bit of a crazy one. Oh, there's this big force here. Alright, we've taken these guys down. I think we have, yeah. Arms masters inside here. We'll have to fight him. Oh, another chance to test my might. <sighs> oh, 
on your guard. Hopefully our men are able to take him out. He's called an allies. <laughs> Hopefully our allies are going to be okay here. All right. Luckily our our order is strong. <laughs> that's such a classic Warcraft thing. Ooh, that's really good. Well, I'm gonna take that. Thank you. Well deserved. Well deserved. You weren't even in the fight. <laughs> I'm taking it. <laughs> Wait, a classic Warcraft experience. Uh, you get locked out of this particular room here. Okay. Let's move onwards. Oh, look at this. The treasures are dropping piles of gold. Excellent. Oh, this is lovely. These scarlet halls full of the treasures. Oh, another treasure. These are my favorite enemies. These ones drop us. They drop us piles of gold on the ground. Literal piles of gold. Oh, someone's already grabbed it. There we go. We found it. Skamas, find something in here? There's nothing in here. Fight happening ahead, though. Some scarlet pupils. Ah, so this is the library. Oh, I see the flame weaver in the background. Oh, we can see he's, he's flaming. He's firing the books. Okay. Let's hurry to stop him burning the books. Everything must burn. None shall know the sky. You too shall be charged. Alright, we need to take this flame weaver down. Some of the many of the books are already burned. This is not good. We can interrupt his cast. Oh, someone beat us to it. So we can cast book burner. No! And there we go. We took him down. Excellent. Well done, we saved the Codex of the Crusade, and we vanquished the Scarlet Halls. Excellent. We got a belt and a dagger. The Hooded Crusader has arrived. A lot of corpses out there. Nicely done, Valerie. Kneeling down, the Hooded Crusader examines the Flame Weaver's corpse, looking for something. Did you get the Codex? You did. What is it? Great start, Valerie. It won't be long now before the Scarlet Crusade is nothing more than an ugly footnote in the annals of history. It's imperative that I get my hands on the Codex. You go, ah yes! The Hooded Crusader rubs her hand together gleefully at sight of the Codex, and now I have a checklist with the name of every Scarlet Crusader on it. You know, just in case any of them are unaccounted for. I don't like loose ends. An interesting person, this Scarlet Crusader. Very interesting person. I'm not sure what to make of that. I'm not sure I entirely trusted her. But we were sent here by the king, so surely things will be okay. Uh, we got a new talent as well. I'm going to grab this double time. All clear. Onwards to the monastery proper. Okay, I'm going to increase my maximum number of, of uh, charges. Charges? So I can charge twice. And we'll also reduce the cooldown of it. So I'm going to be able to charge more often. Alright, and here we are at the Scarlet Monastery. Send Inquisitor White Mane to her final rest and put an end to the Scarlet Crusade. We destroy piles of uh, zombified corpses. The, uh, the Hooded Crusader is back again. Okay. Well, the Blades of the Anointed. The problem with the Scarlet Crusade is they keep coming back even after death. Behind those resurrections is High Inquisitor White Mane. With her death, so goes the Crusade. To give her the final rest, we need two Swords of Legend each with a lost but storied history. Luckily for me, or us, those two blades of the anointed are at rest here within the monastery. Find them, and once you've killed White Mane, plunge the blades into her corpse to make the death permanent. Okay, I'm not sure what to make of this hooded crusade. There's something suspicious happening with her, and I'm worried. I'm very worried. Uh, the letter I got from the king, perhaps we were misled somehow. I'm not sure what to make of this. <laughs> There's rumors that you could see the Headless Horseman here. Sounds like a story. Again, when you are ready. 
Schade, den. They sound like tall tales. Alright. Let's take these guys out if we can. Flamethrowers! Ooh. Grab the fuel grab a fuel tank? Ah, well, let's charge in anyway and let's take these guys out. I'm not sure what happened to that flamethrower. Oh, hello. He's got it anyway. Ah, somebody likes me. Oh, I'm wearing the wrong tabard. That's why. Let me throw it back on my Stormwind tabard. There we go. Shall we purge it completely? Of course. Of course. Oh, the fuel tank will set off an explosion which will burn these piles of corpses. Aha! I see. I see what we're supposed to do here. Okay. Excellent. So, these piles of corpses are being burnt. More corpses to the side. We must. We should deal with all of these what the king would want. Excellent work. Alright, the courtyard is almost completely clear. Looks like there's some sort of summoning happening up here. Thalnos, the soul render. No doubt. Cannot let even a, leave even a single corpse standing, otherwise the infestation will keep spreading. This is true. We also seem to have spirits here as well. Okay. Nicely done. The soul right. Ah, a blade of anointed. One of the blades of the anointed rests behind him. Okay, they have been vanquished. Now it is time to deal with Thalnos the Soul Render. There he is. Let's charge and take him down. Raise Fallen Crusader. He's raising some Crusaders from the grave. He's almost down, and down he goes. Excellent work. Quickly felled by us. Quickly, quickly felled. Ooh, that's quite nice. Um, it's more for tanking, though. I don't actually need this as much. Uh, I think I can roll uh, greed for that. Skamaz needs it. That seems unlikely. <laughs> but maybe. Maybe it's a really big upgrade. I don't know. Oh, we got one of the Blades of the Anointed, though, and that is the main thing that we wanted here. Now, we need to get two of them, and we need to then use these Blades to vanquish this Inquisitor, because the Inquisitor is bringing people back from the dead. The Scarlet Crusade is never truly defeated, and this is one of the worrying things. As we can see, I mean, there's a lot of, of pretty nefarious stuff going on. Although the Scarlet Crusade is fighting the undead, and that is good... They're doing, they've got some very questionable methods, which is why we need to deal with these. Scarlet Judicator. It looks like this guy is... Is he drunk? Ah, oh, he's asleep. We might be able to slip on through, if we are careful. Okay. Spirit of Redemption. Okay, Ooh, we've got a lot of people here. This is a big courtyard. Okay, oh, we've actually attracted another group here. I'm going in. I may regret this. I may regret this. 
Oh god, we got taken out. I don't think Prod Heals noticed. I don't think he noticed that we were under attack from the other side as well. I don't think he noticed when he charged the other group. Oh dear, disaster strikes! Oh, Skamaz is on the run, oh dear. Just like the good old days. Okay. We should be able to come back. Alright. Let's try that again. Luckily we've cleared out some of these forces, so this shouldn't be too bad. Okay, we're already under attack. I think we want to fight here. We definitely don't want to be, like, split up. Okay, there we go. Looks like only one of them attacked us. This is good. This is good. No matter. I'm back now. Alright. Skamaz has arrived again. Yeah, we just need to be careful not to let too many know we're here at the same time. That's the danger. That's the danger. We got all of these guys. Oh, there's the other Blade of the Anointed. That's what we want. Excellent. Excellent work. Oh, there's more attacking us. Okay, good work, everyone. Blade of the Anointed in the middle of the fountain. With one of the blades already in your position, you move to take the other. An inscription on the statue behind the sword reads, The Hand of Providence. The sword glows a fiery red in your hand. Magical runes forming the words unquenchable are inlaid along the blade. Interesting it's called unquenchable and it's in the middle of a fountain. The second anointed blade floats just in front of the wet statue. Steam rises from the sword. You get the uncanny feeling that the hand of providence hath been waiting for you. Unto, the, unto dust thou shalt return. You take the second anointed blade in hand and feel the power of both swords course through you. There is but one thing left to do. As the mysterious hooded woman explained, to put an end to the Scarlet Crusade, you must thrust both blades into the corpse of High Inquisitor White Mane. And that is what we shall do. That is what we shall do. Okay. There we go, we still have some fanatics to deal with here. Excellent. Oh! <laughs> Skamaz is destroying the, uh, the target dummy there. <laughs> Just getting in some practice before he moves on. Looks like we've got some fanatics training for combat. Okay, excellent work. Brother Korloff. Hold on now, stay here. Oh god, we're being attacked from behind. We're being attacked from behind, this is not good. Okay, there we go, we took him down. Alright, that worked well. That worked well. Surprisingly well, considering how many just attacked us. Alright, Brother Korloff. Seems to be some sort of fighting monk. Whoa, Firestorm Kick! I'm not sure if I should be in this. I've got no fear. The healer, Durin's the healer of the Order, having no problem keeping us alive. Oh, this ring is very nice. Oh, I definitely need that. Thank you very much. The fire finger ring. Excellent. Oh. Tilestrom is down. Whew. Say, Captain, I'm impressed with your damage. Thank you. Alright, let's forge ahead here. Into the cathedral itself. Oh my! <laughs> A large force of the Scarlet Fanatics 
coming forwards to fight us. Only to perish here. I'll honor you with clean. I need a target. It's too far away. Commander Durand, come so far to perish here. Clean deaths. We'll try to give him the same favor. Oh, I suppose not. We're going to be plunging a sword into the, the body of his commander. More to the sides here. Excellent work. The Glimmering Shield. Oh, very nice. That looks like some of the shields that the Crusaders would use. Okay. Commander Durand. Time to take him down. An idea. Yes. Okay, we're gonna go attack the sides first. Ah, oh, there were forces along the sides, I see. Okay, good. Yeah, that's a good idea. We don't want them to reinforce during the fight. That would be very bad if that happened. Very, very bad. Oh my, there's just dead crusaders everywhere. What's going on over here? Okay, the initiates have been taken down as well. Some cloth bracers. I remember one of my grandfather's stories about this place. He always used to say, deal with the small people first. We're taking the big bite. <laughs> That's good advice. Good advice for combat in general. This legend did not last long. The Inquisitor herself. Oh, she's attacking. Okay. We have to take her down as well. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, no, never mind. She's put us to sleep. Did a deep sleep. Arise, my champion. Oh, she's brought him back to life! Oh my. Oh my. There we go, we did it! Whew, that was cool! So she even brought him back from the dead. A triune signet. Oh, that looks very powerful. A very powerful ring for a magic user. And some dashing strike threads. Okay. Where is her corpse? Oh, we did it! Someone else has plunged the blades in. Hood Crusader gazes down upon the Inquisitor's skewered corpse. Now enough of this deception. Hello, my name's Lily, and you don't mind if I take those blades, do you? With White Mane gone for good, the Scarlet Crusade is finished! She's an undead! It's just a matter of sweeping up the refuse. These will do quite nicely. They feel as if they're meant for me all along. Thank you, Valerie. Not just for myself but for everyone opposed to mindless hatred and bigotry. And thank you for these two new blades, anointed anew in her blood. They should serve me well as I take the fight to Scholomance and deal with Dark Master Gambling. I bid you adieu for now. Dark Lady Watcher. I'm not sure what to make of her. I'll speak with the king on this. I'm not sure if we... Weren't fooled somehow. Yeah, I think we're definitely good that we have rid the world of the Scarlet Crusade. They definitely do not seem like the most pleasant folk at all. We should report to the king about Ilion. You know who he is when it comes to Horde matters. Okay, guys, so that is the end of the Scarlet Monastery. I hope you enjoyed a little RP run throughout this dungeon. I had a lot of fun. It's very cool. A uh, classic World of Warcraft set of dungeons really um and yeah i will see you all next time for some more world of warcraft until then goodbye and thank you for watching